Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce Theme with WordPress REST API. In previous episode, we learned about how to add this dynamic header. You can see all of these links are dynamic coming from WordPress, this logo, site title, etc. And in this video, uh, we're going to learn about how to add the SVG icons uh, before we jump on to adding the footer. Okay. So how do we do this? The first thing we want to do is install a package and this package will be called SBG RCLI. And what this does basically is it allows you to just add your SBG icon files and it's going to automatically generate the react component for the SVG. So you don't have to worry about changing the attributes yourself because I'm pretty confident that you must have observed when you're using SVGs with React, many of the attributes are expected to be in JSX format, like camel casing and stuff, and usually they are separated by hyphen. So this takes care of all of that. So it is basically a command line interface for SVGR. So you run a command, it's going to automatically generate those React component, um, basically SVGs in a format that you need wrapped inside of a React component. It's pretty powerful. I'll just show it to you. So once you've installed it, you will need to create the directory where all your icons are going to stay. And I like to keep things organized. So I would like all of my icons to be in a single directory. So I know they exist there and I can use it wherever I want on the site. So first thing we do is we create a directory called icons. And inside of that, I will create another directory and name it as SVGs, okay. And then inside of my package.json, I'm going to add another script. So comma, so if you run npm run SVG, then it's going to run this CLI, okay. Then what's going to do is, it's going to go to the source components icons SVG, so whatever SVGs you put, and it's going to output the React components inside of the icons, right? So let me show that to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste some of the SVG icons here and you can get all of these SVG icons from the GitHub repository, which is Next.js WooCommerce REST API. And while you're here, please do start my repository to support my work. Uh, and then you have all of these SVGs. And as you can see that uh, we've got this SVG markup here. And basically you want to convert this into a react component. So what do we do is come over here and we'll say npm run SVG. So that's a script we want to run. You can name it whatever you want, but I've named it as SVG. Actually, we should move this icons inside components. There you go. Okay. Now we have components directory inside of this. We have the icons. All right. Now, if I run npm run SVG, notice what happens. So I'm running this script. I've named it as SVG. You can name it whatever you want and then hit it. There you go. So you can see that it is picked up from the source Instagram SVG and outputted Instagram.js, which is a component, React component, which wraps the SVG. So if you open it, there you go. You can see that it's generated Facebook.js, Instagram, search, Twitter, YouTube, all of that stuff. If you open it, you can see it took that SVG and whatever the attributes were accept, expected in a way they were expected, like for example, view box, right? Compared with this Facebook SVG. So view box, props, and you can also pass the props in the SVG. For example, if you want to override this width, you can just pass that in the props and it's going to override that width for you. So that's pretty powerful. And then it just, exporting that SVG for you. So you can use that anywhere you want as a React component rather than putting it in a messy way. So if you remember in header, we had put the SVG and it was, it's not really looking good. So we're going to come back later and update that, but take a look at how it's looking, right? It's not looking that great. So why don't we take this SVG and convert this into a component? And this was our, I believe, tailwind SVG. So I'm going to go over here. Okay, I'm going to create a file called tailwind icon.svg and then I'm going to put that there. And then what I do is again, I'll run it. There you go. Perfect. 
So now you can see it's generated that Tailwind icon. And instead of writing a messy code, I can just write Tailwind icon and then import it on top and then Tailwind icons. Yes, that's it. Okay, looks pretty neat. Similarly, we can do that uh, for the others as well. I'm not going to spend time on this in this lesson, you know, making those updates. I'll rather do the updates and put the put that code for you so you can take it from there. But yeah, uh, that's the idea to to make your code look clean and then the fact the fact that you can reuse it. So if I had to reuse this SVG, I have to copy this SVG again uh, compared to just using this component. It, it's just way way better. And then I can pass the props over here as well. I can pass the props and update that. Um, default props as well or pass a new prop all right so so that's about it for the SVG uh, I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already do star my repository to support my work and please do follow me on github my github handle is Imran Isayad and my twitter handle is Coditech and I'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye